Hmm. Bakit walang whistle ang signature? <laughs> Meron na! There's Other whistle. Other than the squeaks. There's whistle in Phoenix. But how could, why didn't you like sing a whole chorus in your whistle register? Because I didn't want it <laughs> in my <laughs> As in isang bliss, chorus. <laughs> bliss by Mariah Carey or My Hair by Ariana. Like we can do that. And they, you know why? Because I guess I didn't want to just be stuck with. Nah, I didn't want. I. This may not sound good to a lot of people, but I actually don't want my whistle to be my signature. That's why I didn't really heavily quote unquote promote it on the EP. Just because I am doesn't mean I should. Just because <laughs> yeah. I can. Doesn't mean you have the right to. Hindi pero yun nga parang wala lang. I mean, yeah, you guys know, and I do it in my live streams. I can still do it. It's just there, and I make sulpot sulpot it, sulpot sulpot. I make sing it it in different parts of the song with with the squeaks and stuff. But I, I guess I just didn't want to be. I don't want that to be my signature. Yeah, that makes sense. Just because I don't know, like it was good. It was good for me to start with and establish myself with. But at the same time, in the long run, and you guys have to understand, we're humans and our voices change, mm -hmm. and we're constantly. And he, not not me, pala. He's constantly trying to remind me to to like do all these different vocal exercises but i'm able to sing for as long as i can and although back in 2018 when i lost my voice really crazily crazily is that even a word when i lost my voice in 2018 it really actually wasn't the whistle that contributed to that because i feel personally because i've been whistling even before 2018 since 2013 I mean, even even before I was in Manila, I was already whistling, diba. Um, I think nakakasira lang siya ng bosses pag fino force mo siyang gawin. When you yeah. don't really have that that structure structure. Yeah. Or you don't really have that in your voice. And then syempre, when you get when you get tired or you don't have the full range of your voice, it affects that and that's where I'm going going to nga. Now, it's it was also the lifestyle at that time. I was really busy. I was traveling. I was singing all these songs because I every was every week you're in a different country. Every week I'm in every week, every month I'm flying, and then you're having to face different time zones, different weather conditions, and guys, ayun nga, we're not robots, we're people. It really affects our voice. And 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 that's why I like talking also to just seasoned artists who it's kinda like similar to me like example i like talking to miss lani and miss reg and even sir arnel pineda and these are people and i'm mentioning them because yeah. these are artists na even ngayon they're still able to hit their highs so i asked them how do they do it and that's usually the first thing they say na una you have to you have to accept na you're human and that your voice really changes and there's you can you can of course try your best to maintain pero yeah. wala it's that's just really how nature is and it's, it's like it's like talaga. anything now if you use something mm -hmm. like example if if you're someone who types a lot every day because mm -hmm. it's a part of your work right? like me if i'm editing every single day it gets to the point where my hands freeze up and i can't do anything because my hands are tired my yeah. forearms are tired so if you're singing every single day, singing in different conditions, mm -hmm. singing the songs that you sing, then of course it's going to get to the point where you're going to wear your voice down. And, and, and it really came to the point nga before in 2018 na there I would have shows guys na kumanta na lang, I really just sang <laughs> It's going to sound so bad. I really just sang for the money. Ganun. Or I really just sang because people are ex or because shep, it's my job. Yeah. Or I have a gig and I need to sing. 
And Jennifer, you wanted to meet people's expectations. And I you. needed to meet people's expectations. But sorry, I'm I'm pointing this out because you know I it came to the point that I was afraid to sing or I wasn't enjoying singing anymore because I knew my voice was in a certain state. But there's nothing I can do about it because I had gigs every yeah. single day and I was earning for my family and I needed to just be out there to keep myself self out there because Shepard, it's a tough competition it's a tough world diva right? yeah. in the industry especially so and it voila, it really just comes to that na parang I don't mind I have I actually have a good a really good example mm. it's singers especially es- especially singers that sing like you mm. you guys are athletes yeah you perform and you sing in you like you do vocal acrobats mm-hmm. diva so your athletes a good example is Manny Pacquiao mm-hmm. diva so when he was at the peak of his of his physical abilities yeah he was knocking out guys left and right mm-hmm. because he had that power he had that punch diva mm-hmm. so that was his whistle yeah that was yeah. his diva you know yung it was it was that that like knockout punch that that he was able to do in mm-hmm. so many different fights mm-hmm. but he's getting older he can he still has all the techniques mm-hmm. he can still move he can still he can still fight younger athletes mm-hmm. but he hasn't knocked out anyone in, in a while. his in a while in a long time he hasn't knocked out anyone mm-hmm. but he'll still win yeah deba right? so it's it, because because he doesn't Kung baga, that aspect, he's used it up, eh. Mm-hmm. Or not necessarily used it up, but it's just, that's how his body is. He doesn't possess that that certain suntok power anymore, but everything else is still there. It's still there, yeah. Diba? And probably, if he forced himself to do it, mm-hmm. he probably could. He just wouldn't last as long. Yeah. Diba? So, which is Which, which brings is, us back to longevity. Exactly. And you know, and look at Pacquiao. He's already what in his forties. He's still he, fighting. He still has another game coming. Yeah. Up, or he has another <laughs> match coming up, Deba. Right? So, like, you know, that's that's the goal for I guess for everyone. And yeah. you know how the especially now with social media, Deba. Right? Parang ambilis. Yeah. Ambilis ng what's the term? Sobrang bilis ng span. Yeah. The span actually of like artists, especially now, is super fast now because there's so much new. Because there's so many. No me- new talents coming up. And so you have to evolve. You have, you have to, to also evolve, and you want to be able to stay there and do what you do for as long as you can. Yeah. And that, that for me is where, is where I am right now. Yeah. And, and it's not. And even with these songs, deba, right? it's not me, turning my back on ballads. Because I still give you guys a hard time. <laughs> I still want to give you guys a hard time, and I give myself a hard time. But yun nga, like my goal is just to be able to sing for as long as I can, be out there for as long as I can, and to the point na enjoy parin ako kahit three thirty decades na ako in the industry. Pero I'm still able to sing. I'm still able to enjoy singing for people, diba? And not yeah. just parang sige na lang, yung ganun. These are your songs now. And and that's the highlight of everything because these are I really want to take these songs with me and just have that talaga. And yun nga, and it's it's a balance of everything. It's yeah. a balance of every 